she is finally here kafka has finally made her way onto honkai star Row. and with that being said let's go ahead and make a guide for her talking about her kit her relics her teams her islands all that stuff that you possibly need to know in order to build kafka and user so we're going to go ahead and talk about her kit with being said she does have a lot of text in her kit so we're going to go ahead and make this a lot easier summarize it up and then talk about everything else so her basic attack is just going to be a regular attack there really isn't anything special about this so we're going to move on for her skill this is going to be where where one of her core components of her kit is going to be at which is going to be the re-triggering of dots which is going to be whenever there's a dot on the enemy any dots that have been put on before kafka's skill and when she does skill will automatically proc instead of waiting till the end of the turn and this is very strong especially if you have other characters built like sampo like luka these are going to be some really crazy damage numbers that you're going to see from this skill and this is also present in her ultimate as well because her ultimate is able to make sure that everyone does get hit with the re-trigger and this is going to be absolutely insane now the one thing about her ultimate that is very good is that she is able to apply shock herself and also give it to the whole wave through 100 base chance so this is very good for kafka it's very good that it's all aoe or the whole wave so you don't have to worry about hitting adjacent a target so this is very strong and this again as i said will re-trigger the dots that are on the enemies now the talent is very strong too where any ally on the team is going to basic attack, she will follow up with an attack herself and also have a chance to shock. So this is very cool. And I think the animation for this is very fire as well. <laughs> so this is very nice to see. Another application for this is that with this being said through basic attacks, helping her do this follow-up attack, it is really good for shield breaking on lightning enemies. So you do use this a lot when you're ending up trying to break an enemy, especially those bigger ones that have really big shields for lightning. This is very useful for sure, especially adding on the shock. This is gonna be very very nice for Kafka and overall her kit is just amazingly synergistic as always and then for the technique you are going to have a base chance to apply shock to all the enemies in the field so this is really cool too getting you a really strong head start when it comes to the enemies taking their turn and they get automatically dotted for like 10k or something is really cool now when it comes to Kafka's light cone of course her signature is going to be the very best it's going to give you increased damage dealt it's going to give you speed which of course you really want on Kafka just because you are going to be re-triggering the amount of dots that you have on the enemy Kafka is not really built with crit rate crit damage so a lot of these other stats are going to help a lot when it comes to kafka and then you are going to be getting a pseudo shock i guess you could say um, from this as well which is going to add on as an extra dot but talking about the extra substitutes that you can put on kafka instead of the signature eyes of the prey is 100 percent going to be one of the best ones to substitute out just because it will give you effect hit rate which is very important on these type of characters and also going to give you more dot damage as well the other ones that will work as well are going to be fermata just because this one is also a grindable one can you can get from memory of chaos which is going to be increase the break effect dealt by the wearer by 16 percent and increase their damage to enemies afflicted with shock or wind shear by 16% and also applies to dots. Now, the really important thing is that it applies to dots, which is going to help the dots out a lot more, make it do a lot more damage. And the thing is that with Shocker Wind, Kafka already does Shock, Sampo does Wind Shear. You're going to usually have them on the same team. So this is overall going to be activated 100%. The other light cone that's going to help as well is going to be Good Night and Sleep Well. For every debuff the target enemy has, the damage dealt by this wearer increases by 12%, stacking up to three times. This effect also applies to dots. So as I said before, you do want to highlight your dot damage you want to make sure that you are getting those dot damages done and buffing it as much as you possibly can a lot of these other light cones don't really help with dot damage they kind of help with personal damage and that's not really what kafka is doing another thing that can help but you're not going to run it on kafka you'll probably run it on somebody else like luka but it's going to be the resolution shines light cone it's going to make them lose their defense which is going to end up making the dot hurt more you're not going to put this on kafka but you will put this on one of kafka's teammates so you do want to make sure to level this one up now talking about her traces this is going to be where majority of her actual kit gets unlocked now for her one of her traces is going to be the base chance for ultimate technique or the follow-up attack triggered by the talent to inflict shock increased by 30 percent so it's going to help with needing less effect hit rate which is going to be very great when the ultimate is used is going to basically re procking the dots that you have on the enemy which is very strong it's going to help do a lot of damage and then if an enemy is defeated while shocked kafka additionally regenerates five energy this is going to help her get her ultimate more help her put shock on enemy help her re-trigger those dots it's going to be overall insanity with how much damage you're going to be doing now for her best relic sets you are going to want to run the sizzling thunder and the space ceiling station the sizzling thunder is going to give you more lightning damage which is going to help you with your dots and for the four piece set when the wearer uses their skill increase the wearer's attack by 20 percent for one turn attack is going to be the mainstay for what you want on kafka just because dots are able to use the attack stat and not really crit rate crit damage so you are going to be changing how you do rock your kafka a little bit from your other dps's you are going to want to 
effect hit rate you are going to want break effect on sub stats this is the primary ones that you want crit rate and crit damage don't really do anything you can run it to make your personal damage a little bit higher but other than that that's not really what you want on kafka for your chest piece you are going to want attack percentage if you don't have enough effect hit rate then effect hit rate is really good as well for her boots you want speed or attack preferably speed but since i have attack this is all i can put on her <laughs> so you do want speed because remember with her signature it scales off that as well with having more speed you're able to re-trigger dots more sooner and this is going to help you do a lot more damage this is what you kind of want and then space ceiling station again dots need attack so that's going to help you a lot with making your dot hit a lot more you're going to want land lightning damage boost with the same old sub that i've been talking about before effect hit rate break effect this is basically what you want on kafka it's attack percent and then for the rope it's attack percent as well so these are going to be the relics that you run on kafka now when it comes to kafka's eidolons you are going to want to stop at one and two again not a lot of people look at eidolons when they're looking at a character one and two are going to help the most with one giving you more damage for your diet when you use your talent which is the follow-up attack and two just giving you an overall dot buff when you are on the field with kafka which is going to be a static buff this is overall insane everything else again is very overkill for giving you energy on your ult and six making your ult and your skill and all that do a lot more damage with shock one and two is the sweet spot you should probably stop there now when it comes to the best of her teams you are going to probably run a very niche setup which is going to be a little bit hard to run with other characters now there are certain things you can do to make her a hyper carry versus a full dot team now the full dot team is definitely going to be the better choice for kafka just because you are going to be able to re-trigger a lot when it comes to using kafka and buffing sampo can buff dot damage sampo has dot luka does a dot damage and luka can also buff damage as well so there's a lot of things that go for kafka's dot team and then you could just add on a healer there are options that you can run for hyper carry kafka which can be options like kafka civil wolf i guess you could say sampo and a healer or any other character that can reduce defense just because you are going to be able to have that lightning break with implanting that lightning and you're also able to defend shred with silver wolf with other characters like maybe Pella, with Ting Yun being able to increase attack, help that dot damage do a little bit more, giving her energy. There's a lot of different variations that you can have to be able to give Kafka her hyper carry versus her full dot team. So there are different avenues that you can run with Kafka, with having either Kafka, Sampo, Luka, and a healer, or Kafka, Silver Wolf, a character that can buff or debuff, and then a healer. There's a lot of different types of ways that you can run Kafka, but her dot team is definitely gonna work a little bit better when it comes to using her. You do wanna make sure you're applying all of these debuffs on the enemy and then proccing her retrigger that way you're able to get more damage on those dots that way you're able to do more damage on your retriggers that way you're able to do a lot more damage overall for kafka but other than that that's going to be it for the rest of this video thank you guys so much for watching all to the end of the video hopefully you learned how to use kafka what to build on her what to put on her but other than that thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video see you on the next one and peace